Today's video is going to be another quick two minute fix. Now we did the first in this series a few weeks ago where Troy repaired the sewer um, hose carrier, the little door on it. You can find that video here. And these are just going to be some videos that we're going to do during the year of quick little items that we fix, put them in a playlist so you, the viewer, can easily access them. Now this week we're moving inside because we're going to do two quick repairs to the window shades. Now we have a Geo Pro, same as an ePro, um, and these window shades are common throughout these lines. Um, Geo Pro is made by Forest River, so thinking these things probably pop up in some of their other campers as well. But today we're going to talk about two things that um, we find will go wrong with these shades. One is this bar, of course, falling off the bottom, and the other is the fact that, you know, they get to where you can't roll them back up. So today I'm going to give you two quick fixes on those. Okay, the first thing that we are going to fix is the little bar that keeps falling off the blinds. Chances are, if you've used this camper a few times, you've had this happen, and it's a really easy fix. Um, first thing you're going to do is go ahead and pop off the little end. Um, I will say when I first did it, I wasn't sure that they were supposed to come off, but they do if you kind of tug, tug at them a little bit. Then um, go ahead and slide um, the, it completely off the blind. Then what you're gonna to need to do is the fabric, you're gonna see where it's folded. You're gonna fold that back up and then you're gonna feed it into the little groove that is inside um, the bar. Then go ahead, push it all the way in and then pop the little end back on and it's fixed. Now, one last thing we have heard of some people talking about, you know, putting glue uh, along this edge so that when you slide it back in, um, hopefully that would keep it from coming back out. We thought about it. The reason we haven't done it is we were concerned that maybe the glue would give away only on a portion of it when we uh, pull it and all of a sudden part of the blind would come out and then we wouldn't be able to easily slide it back in and out. So for now we decided you know, it's just easier to fix it when it happens. It only takes a few seconds and, you know, not to bother with the glue. Okay, the next fix was figuring out why it wouldn't roll back up. So um, we decided to just take the blind completely off, just to kind of take a closer look at it. The valance is put on with two L brackets, one on either side. So we just went ahead and removed the screws that were in the um, part that goes into the little valance and then took the valance off. Then there were two little clips um, that held the blind on. We just push those in and the blind pops right off. Now we could take a closer look. We took the valance off. I don't think you actually need to, to do this quick fix. Um, we just did, you know, so we could get a closer look at it and so we could video it. But um, when we were pulling this bar off, we noticed on the end here, there are three initials, ISD. That stands for Irvine Shade and Door, which we went online and we found their website. They are the makers of these shades. Um, they're in Elkhart, Indiana, not a big shock on that one. And they had some videos as to how to fix them. So there are two wheels. This side over here um, will adjust the tension and this side over here will uh, adjust the auto stop where the uh, you know shade actually stops when you tug on it. So um, we just fiddled with these two until we got it back to where it would actually grab and roll back up and down. So um, I'm gonna link the website um, in the description. So, you know, they had those, uh, couple of videos if you'd like to see those as well and they also talked about you know if you wanted to replace some of the parts that were in here um, I think they're also a great resource if you needed an additional one or if you needed some additional parts but basically after we just kind of messed with these a little bit we found the blind was now working again and it'll stop where we want it to instead of you know rolling up all the way under the balance now there was one last thing thing um, that we did when we took the valance off we found that the little bracket on this side was actually a little loose so we went ahead and backed out um, each of the screws didn't take them out all the way but backed out them a little bit and put some silicone into the screw and on the back of the bracket and 
you know, just screwed those back in. We think that's going to help that hold a little bit better. Um, the rest of them all seem to be fine, but we found that adding a little bit of silicone to the screw and the back of the bracket um, were things that really have helped um, the baskets that we have hung up inside here uh, hold. So we're thinking it's really going to help with this balance too. So that is this week's two minute fix. As we come across these during the year, these quick, simple repairs, again, we'll be linking them in the playlist up here. But the blinds all back together, working properly. And Troy and I actually like these blinds. We find that they match the interior of the camper really well. So we're willing to put up with a couple little quirks where, you know, we have to do these repairs here and there um, while we're using the camper. So. That about pretty much wraps up this week. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.